Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 2nd of July 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages. Let's see. Uh oh, that's not a Divine Masculine. <laughs> Eight of Swords, my little karmic card. The little karmic wants to come in the Divine Masculine reading. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Unless the Divine Masculine is under some kind of binding spell or something. Yeah, competition. This is Divine Masculine's competition. So Divine Masculine, if you're actually watching this, your competition is uh, heavily featured in this reading. 35 could be significant. Somebody could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I've seen Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius already. Okay, so Holy Spirit, don't show me actors. Show me... Um, Show me a real Divine Masculine, not somebody who's acting as if they are Divine Masculine, please. Because we've got a lot of those here. And uh, I was talking about one in the Divine Feminine reading too, so let's get a real Divine Masculine, please. Maybe they're not watching at all. <laughs> Holy Spirit, okay, Four of Swords. Like I said, maybe they're not watching at all, okay? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not healing from something with the Four of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. That's the first thing I'm getting. There could be somebody uh, who has or they haven't healed yet. And that's why they're in hermit mode trying to heal certain things. Talk to me about this Divine Masculine who's healing. Again, we've got a lot of fire energy. Sagittarius and Leo. So this person is blocking people. Uh, possibly blocking their divine feminine too, but he's staying to himself because he's trying to work on himself. Okay, so, Queen of Swords, he's very guarded again. Also, this could be somebody who's hurt uh, his divine feminine a lot, possibly, or who is dealing with um, another partner. Yep, yes, exactly, they're dealing with another partner, and I heard beep beep outside too. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Um, this person could also have children, one or more children to take care of. He could... Oh my god, I hope this guy doesn't have multiple families or something. Okay, anyway. Um, does this guy... I think he only has one family though. Two of Cups here. The Fool. The Fool again. Oh my god, I think he does have two. Either he has two children because the Fools can be children. Or he has two families. No, but I think they have two children and the children could be arguing with each other. They, they could be um, naughty children, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Does this guy have naughty children? Don't answer that. <laughs> yes, he does. Okay, there you go. My nose itches. And the Queen of Swords keeps coming out. So the Queen of Swords could be either him being angry at these kids or um, their mother... So him and the mother might not be uh, communicating very well. And the children are also very naughty. And uh, they're putting more strain on this relationship. Yes, exactly. King and Queen of Swords. So they're overwhelmed. This couple is overwhelmed here. Eight of Swords. They feel trapped. Okay then. So what's the answer here for this Divine Masculine? Ten of Pentacles. The answer is Ten of Pentacles. They need more stability, I think. Six of Swords. They might need to move. They might need to take their family and move somewhere. That could be an answer to somebody. I don't know. Move where? Six of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> uh, in a more, uh, maybe a more secluded place. Maybe they're in a very, uh, they live in a very agitated area. Maybe the area they live in is not very good for children. The children could be influenced by bad influences in that particular city or area that they live. So they need to relocate to a better place, I guess. A, a more um, a quieter place. Maybe where there's more nature and less uh, buildings, fewer buildings. I don't know. Three of Pentacles. They need to find a house that they can really call a home. That's what I, I'm getting. That it's the area, it's the neighborhood is not good. And the children could be pulled towards um, gangs and stuff like that. I don't know. 
Ace of Cups reversed. Three of Wands. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. Somebody's feeling sad or depressed. Somebody could be missing home. Somebody could be away from home. Maybe they're away from their hometown or something like that. These people could have moved somewhere where they're not happy. And um, yeah, somebody feels homesick. So, yes, that's the problem. Somebody feels homesick. Maybe they need to re relocate closer to where they're originally from, possibly. Um, Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they, they need to go home. They need to go where they feel more at home, where they feel more connected to the ground, more grounded, more warm and grounded. I don't know. Yeah, this person needs to return to their origin somewhere. Could be their country of origin or city of origin or something. Three of Swords, Six of Swords. Yeah, so this person feels heartbroken being away from their... Um, Whatever they consider to be their home, their legacy, their, yeah, okay, so somebody needs to go back home, that's what I'm getting, okay, so you would know where home is, of course, okay, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, home is away, so somebody needs to take the plane to go home to wherever they feel is home. To where their parents could be from. Queen of, yeah, could be a hot place, okay, with the pentacles and the wands here. Could be a place where it's very warm, you know, a warmer climate. Maybe they're in a colder climate right now and they need to go somewhere where there's a warmer climate because that person could feel better there, maybe. Because in darker, I said darker, in colder climates, it tends to be darker for a longer time. You can't spend too much time outside getting grounded you know and maybe this person feels the need to do um yeah they they need to the they feel the need to be in nature more to connect with nature more like i said this person could be uh this six of wands reversed was making me think of the fact that there's too much commotion there's too much attention too many vehicles too many buildings too much concrete wherever this person is and this person needs to go to somewhere where there's more nature, when where they're more in tune with nature, you know. Uh, yeah, this person needs to get grounded. And uh, they don't feel happy. It could be cold and dark and wet. And, uh, you know, they don't like it there where they are. So that's what could be causing a lot of sadness for these people. And um, also the children uh, don't have anywhere to go play. You know, they might be in the house for too long and they get agitated and all that stuff. So there you go. Five of Swords, Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person feels like they're not at home where they are. And that's why uh, there's a lot of um, anxiety in this family. There's um, Also, it could be the, the line of work that they're doing is not suitable for them. This person could have some kind of desk job, some kind of office job. And this person is meant to do something that's more traditional, possibly. Again, more connected to nature. This person needs to reconnect with nature, okay? That, they're, they're, that's the main message I'm getting. Yes, exactly. Two of Wands. This person may have the opportunity to move to back home or to a place that feels more like home. So what's this new opportunity? What's this new opportunity here? What's the new opportunity Knight of Swords. This could be something that's going to happen soon. They might get a message. They might um, receive a message about this. Somebody might call them or send them an email, you know, invite them to some kind of interview. But yeah, this might happen very soon. In the next maybe couple of weeks because Knight of Swords is number 13 basically, right? So maybe in 13 days, maybe in two weeks, in the next two weeks. So... And then we've got two of wands. For me, two of wands represents two weeks too. So yeah, in about two weeks, there could be a, a work opportunity in a place that's more uh, suitable for this person. Okay, 
so what's this job that they're getting what kind of opportunity is this okay we've got two of pentacles eight of pentacles seven of pentacles nine of swords i don't like the fact that there's nine of swords here or this person could be anxious to accept this offer they could have anxieties over this so with the two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles here this this work could be something that um maybe they would be working in collaboration with one other person so it's just two people working together on whatever this is so yeah i think this is a collaboration between two people yes it is okay so it's just two people working on this um but with the Ten of Wands, there's going to be a lot of work to be done. And it could be physical work. Like I said, this could be something that they need to do physically. Like maybe agriculture or something. I don't know. What kind of... Is this something that has to do with agriculture? Am I right about this? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, moving to the countryside somewhere in the... Working the land, farming. <laughs> Could be. Maybe this would make this person feel better than whatever they're doing now. It could be. I don't know. Although physical work is, uh, yeah, it can be very draining. Uh, especially for somebody who's been doing an office job. It might be very difficult when they start doing something physical again. Because possibly this person's done it before. I don't know. Okay. Two of Swords. They'll have to make a decision soon. So this is uh, happening soon. Ten of Cups. Uh, this could be their family members asking them to come back and help them with the farm. If they have such thing. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, but again, this person is going back to the roots. Is going back to something that's uh, more grounded. More traditional. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. There's this Seven of Swords here. I don't like something here with this Seven of Swords. So it's like something very sneaky. Somebody could be um, planning something. I don't know. What's with the Seven of Swords? Because I was getting other uh, cards that were indicating that there could be something nefarious behind this offer or this collaboration here. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords coming up? And uh, why am I getting warnings about this opportunity? Why? There's an illusion. Somebody's creating some kind of illusion here just to hold on to this person. Um, yeah, so this person... There's something about the person who's making the offer. I think that's the problem. It's the person making the offer that's uh, causing some kind of illusion here. Because they want to hold on to this person energetically. So this could be somebody from their hometown. Could be family members trying to lure them back in. To the family business or something like that. So that's the problem, yeah. Knight of Wands reversed. This person freed themselves. The Knight of Wands is somebody who's free. Who's roaming free. Who's traveling wherever they want. Well, there's somebody from their hometown who's trying to pull them back. To lure back in. Yeah, pull them back home. Um, this could be a sibling or a parent or something. Could be a sibling, yeah, specifically. 16 is the tower, and um, which is Scorpio, and 6 of cups is also Scorpio energy. This person could have Scorpio in their chart, or this person could try to cause a tower moment, to cause a transformation in this person's life. They're trying to push them off their, their path. <clears throat> yep. So this is basically an interruption. It's not somebody who wants to help. I thought it was a it was a good opportunity for somebody, but apparently no, it's not. It's a trick. And this is a family member, two of pentacles. Yeah, a family member who wants to, to work on some kind of business. Yeah, family business. Two people working on creating one family business. And these people, they could have worked together in the past already. Two of wands again. Three of Pentacles. Uh, maybe there are three people 
working together so this uh family member could be working with another family member and they want to lure this one back in too but it's a trap it's a trap it's uh trying to keep this person on a karmic path instead of uh following their life path here three of cups that's why they want the reunion king of swords reversed so this person is very controlling they just want to control the other person queen of swords reversed okay this could be somebody's parents with the king of swords reversed and the queen of swords reversed somebody's parents could want to pull this person back into the family business or these could be it's not necessarily parents it could just be a, a couple it could be somebody's brother and their wife or somebody's sister and their husband are trying to pull you back in to work with them but it could be like i said two people pulling you back in and these people they're both karmic yeah you freed yourself from these people already and they want to pull you back that's that's all four of swords you ghosted these people possibly or you just moved away from them you just freed yourself from them nine of swords eight of cups so these people could be very anxious because you walked away and they could be anxious that you walked away and you're becoming the queen of pentacles. So yeah, that's why they want... Okay, it's clear. It's clear as day what this is. Seven of swords. Yeah, but they were very cheeky, very sneaky. Because at first I was thinking that this is a good thing for somebody. So there you go. They're good at creating illusions. Lots of illusions being created these days. Ten of wands, burdens put in your path, you know, but you're still moving on. So you're still moving forward. You're still going to be the king of pentacles. And these people are going to be crying because you left them behind. Okay, so they need to grow up too. There you go. It is what it is. Also, these people, uh, like I said, it's Saturn retrograde until the 23rd of October. So you could be getting a lot of abundance about now. Even if you haven't, you might get it before the end of October. These people could uh, sense this possibly, or they see that there's something coming. Either they sense it, or they see that you're working a lot and something is growing progressively for you. And they're not happy about it, okay? They want to end whatever you've been working on. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. That's, um, yeah, I cut in two and I just saw the two of, uh, I cut it again at the same space, at the two of swords. Uh, okay, so there you go. That's a warning for you. Also, like I said, um, because I have the king of pentacles, I had the queen of pentacles, now the king of pentacles. I'm thinking that whatever you've been working on, and maybe it hasn't been moving that fast, it might move faster now. It's like you're moving faster towards abundance after you've worked for a long time and maybe it seemed like it wasn't moving that fast okay so there you go that's uh that's the message i hope this helps take care